In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of myths and secrets this game has to offer. Some of these secrets and myths you might know, and actually a lot of these you may not know. So make sure to stick around to the end and let me know down below how many of these secrets and myths did you actually know. But before we get into this, I have my helper Rectway here, aka Sugarway, Milky Way, Mommy Way, all the names we've already heard of. Very familiar with him, but since he's here, I have to help him and pay him out. So Rectway, you're going to be getting a fruit. Come with me. Bro, why are you paying me? I didn't even do anything. Don't worry, I'll be using you later. Yo, what? Okay, okay, okay. Don't act like it's not a good deal. Look it, I got a sand fruit for you, bro. Bro, this is so mid just like you. At least it's not as mid as your mom. Dude, this is like washed up just like your channel. Hey, be nice, dude. What are you talking about? You know what this fruit deserves to go to? What? Yeah, I'm about to take you somewhere. What? You're taking me somewhere. Follow me. Okay. You better not pull something stupid. Now you're gonna get in this hole with me, bro. The hole? What? What are you doing here at Port Town? See the sand fruits? Nah, bro. I don't like your gift, bro. How dare you? I worked hard for that sand fruit. I waited a whole two hours to give you that sand fruit, and that's how you treat me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and show everybody the myths and secrets we have for them, Rectway. Go ahead and take us back to the sea castle. So I have Rectway standing there. The first myth we have is, did you guys know, if you have the chop fruit equipped, a sword cannot damage you, right? Everybody knows this, right? Wait, we're allied. Hold on, let's retry that. As you can see, Rectway does this animation... And he doesn't take any damage at all. But I can hit him with like a, a gun and he'll take damage, you know? But there is a loophole to the chop fruit. If you guys didn't know, if you go ahead and go to your items, equip the dark blade. Now that we have our dark blade out, if we go ahead and hit Rexway, it should start to deal damage now. Wait a second, that myth is fake. As you can see, it looks like actually no sword can damage chop at all. On the wiki, they did say Mihawk's sword can damage chop, but I think they actually meant the NPC Mihawk that spawns in when Indra joins the game. So I guess this myth is true. No sword can damage chop fruit except for that NPC. For this second myth, I'm gonna have Rectway eat a rubber fruit. Rectway, go ahead and eat that. Okay, it's being sus, bro. Nom, 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 nom! That's gross. You actually enjoy that thing? Yes, sir. Okay, buddy. But the myth is, rubber fruit users cannot take damage from guns. And luckily for me, I have the soul guitar, which is known as a gun in this game. So if I go ahead and hit Rexway with the soul guitar, it's gonna deal zero damage. But I could go ahead and hit him with a sword, and it will deal damage, as you guys can see. But if we keep hitting him with Soul Guitar, it does nothing. And we could try any gun in the game. None of the guns work on him. And if you remember a couple videos ago, I just leveled up the Bazooka to max level, pretty much. Level 250. So let's go ahead and see if it does any damage to Rectway. It's a Bazooka, and it does nothing to him. I'm actually curious. Do uh, abilities damage him? No, you can't even use gun abilities on Rexway because he's the rubber user. And as you guys can see, I don't have him allied. That myth is true as well. You can't use any guns to kill rubber fruit player or even damage them. This next thing is a Buddha thing. So if you guys have Buddha, apparently you guys can get like crazy range hacks by using Buddha. But I probably wouldn't recommend this. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. If I go ahead and smack Rexway right here, I have to be up in his face. I can't smack him from like over here, right? If we go ahead and shift with Buddha real quick... We will be able to have range hacks once we unshift. Let's go ahead and unshift real quick and smack Rectway. And as you guys can see, we can smack him from a far distance. I'm using God Human to punch him that far. That is ridiculous. And I think you could even do it with swords. You actually can't. Unless you make your sword really big, which Rectway really enjoys. Let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that. If we go ahead and shift, all you have to do is unshift and equip the sword right after. And there we go. Now I have a big juicy dark blade. Rectway, what do you think about my big dark blade? Bro, stay away before I punch you. Bro, you wouldn't do that. Come on. Stay away from me, buddy. Oh, yeah, guys. And uh, don't do this. Leave it to the professionals with the big dark blades. The reason why is because this is actually bannable if you use this in PvP and to exploit it. This is for entertainment purposes only, guys. So don't have a big dark blade and do not use your fist to hit people 20 miles away. All right, guys? For these next secrets, we're going to be going to the second sea. So if you're not in the third sea yet, this is good for you. So now we are in the second sea, guys. And this one's actually a little bit scary and kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. I don't think a lot of people know about this one. And if you do... You know your attention to details. You guys know like everything if you know this one. Let's go ahead and go to the cafe right away. Go ahead and portal me there. The little secret that I'm about to show you is very weird and nobody really knows about this because it's just out of pocket. So what you have to do is actually look up at these pillars, 
go up to this top corner right here and there's actually a secret message here if you guys didn't know and it is extremely hard to see but right here in this corner you can see a very light message that says it exists if that's not creepy to you guys i don't know what is because there's a secret message saying something exists and there's no context behind it rexway do you see what i'm seeing yes sir i see your mom's booty cheeks that's not what i'm talking about so yeah guys it's really creepy i looked around the cafe for any other secrets i couldn't find any but there's probably some scattered around if there's a secret message there what's stopping them from putting more secret messages but since we're here i actually want to show you guys a few more spots right under the cafe right here if we go down this little ladder and we go down here take a left there is a classified room and Rekwe already here and he just teleported through the wall. But yeah, you want to go ahead and teleport through this wall real quick. And this is called the frog room. It's a little secret room under the cafe. And right behind this sign, it's called King Toad's room. Uh, apparently this belongs to King Toad's, if you couldn't tell by all the toads around. Rexway, why are you on the bed? Dude, I'm, I called up your mom and she says she's on her way. Shut up. Can't even attack me down here, you dumb clown. You're lucky we're in the PvP safe zone. Yeah, you know what else I'm gonna do, buddy? I'm gonna dance on this bed until she gets here. Oh, yeah, you're so dead. You're so dead when you get out of here, bro. These next secrets will help you if you're grinding for the mink race or if you need a lot of money. So if you're grinding for that money, these secret spots should help you. All you have to do is go back in the second C towards this bridge area. And there is a little secret hidden room not a lot of people know about. And I think it's actually right here. There's a little cutout of a door. Some of you may have noticed or some of you may not all you do is just pop that door open and there's chests in this room and you get a good amount of money from it another secret spot that has a lot of chests and even a fighting style is over here all you have to do is go portal to snow and then you should be at the spot it's actually over here across so you go down here and on this side of the mountain there's like a little secret spot somewhere you actually take a little left turn and right here this little secret door leads to a little cave and in this little cave there is a fighting style here, the martial arts master. If we go ahead and talk to him, he should give us a fighting style known as superhuman. And there we go, superhuman equipped. I already have god human, so this is kind of pointless going back. But yeah, that's a cool little thing. Rixway has informed me about this little myth we're about a bust. So apparently, if we do a raid, we can complete a raid without using the fruit and awakening it. It's a little confusing. Let me just go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So Rexway is going to go ahead and start up an ice raid. And if you guys notice, I have Buddha equipped. Rexway, go ahead and start up that ice raid. We're now in the ice raid. We're going to go ahead and use Buddha, but I kind of want to awaken ice. And I'm going to show you guys a little trick. So we are at the last island in the ice right now i just went ahead and fast forward because i don't want to bore you guys to death but what we have to do now is unshift from buddha go ahead and go to the shop that they added and then go ahead and equip the ice fruit from here and if we go ahead and equip the ice fruit we now have the ice fruit clearly i mean look at this i'm using the abilities it works we just have to go ahead and kill the boss so it looks like everybody's about to die right now the boss and his minions there we go the raid is completed so we got a thousand frags from that. And remember, we started the raid with Buddha. Would you look at that? I'm in the awakening room with Rectway. So if you guys want to complete raids super, super fast, just have a bunch of Buddhas and then switch to the last fruit you need. So that's pretty cool. Big shout out to Rectway for this one. For this last secret, I'm going to go ahead and go to the first C. This is for all you money grinders. I'm helping you guys out. Now that we're in the first C, we got to go ahead and go to the portal and go to upper sky. Under upper sky here, there's a little secret door down here. We go ahead and bust through that door. And this is the known as the, like the chest room. If we go ahead and go up here, there should be like a bunch of chests, but I think somebody may have stolen them. And there is also a second part to this door that we could go ahead and break down and it takes us back outside. But there should be a bunch of chests in there. Right now I'm in a public server. They've probably been taken by now. But if you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.